In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four 3D options infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here, you can just put your the number here and you can add the text. And I've given some very bright colors. And I have created one more slide when I click. I've just added some more uh, background lines and I've added some icons to it. So if you, whichever slide you like, you can use it. So this is the slide number one and this is the slide number two similarly i have just done something else also with the same but somewhat different colors and you can see here i have used some dark colors here and this is without icons so there are four slides for you so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill go to insert shapes under rectangles select rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and for temporary purpose i'm just going to give some dark gray color then go to insert shapes select a right triangle draw a right triangle and give some different color shape outline make it no outline and rotate it rotate just say flip vertical and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this uh, this particular shape and keep it aside then i'm going to select this rectangle and this right triangle first of all you have to make sure that this is properly aligned if not it will have a problem in the shape so this is properly aligned select these two shapes by holding the shift key merge shapes and say union then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to place it here and make sure that this is also properly aligned and then i'm going to select this gray shape and then this green one then go to format merge shape and say subtract so you end up getting this shape now i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate this and put it like this then go to format rotate and just say flip horizontal and I'm just going to give some different color time being and then increase the size something maybe this much size and this size I'm just going to reduce it I think this is enough then I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to select one more uh, rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size and give some different color shape outline make it no outline right mouse click or simple you can just go to format just say send to back so you can see here we've got this shape then i'm going to select each one and give some a different gradient fill to it now to give the radiant color i'm just going to uh, give select this particular object right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill i'm going to select the type which is a linear and i'm going to give some darker color to it go to more options or more colors this one i'm going to select and then i'm going to select this particular stop more colors and give some maybe a kind of orange you can see here like this has been created i can just change the way i want the color the dark should come the other side and then i'm just going to select this and press f4 key to repeat the uh, gradient or if it is not happening select this go to format painter and click this one and change the other way around so you can see here then i'm going to select this i'm going to give the same red color this color uh, or i can just go to more colors and go to customs i can increase the 
shade also it looks more darker here so let me just delete this and select all just move it up a little bit here and now it's time to add the the text and the numbers to add the text go to insert text box and i'm just going to type 01 the first option choose your font according to your requirement make it bigger and i'm going to put it here and make it white font if you want you can make it more bigger and then go to text options and text options go to text effects go to 3d rotation preset and i'm going to select this option which is this one off axis to right then i'm going to add some more text here add your text here again change the font to your font of your choice reduce the size or if you want you can just rotate a little bit like this and you can add your text here and one more thing which i forgot to do is to add the shadow effect because shadow effect uh, makes a very big impact on the design so go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle something like this make it no outline and select the gradient fill and again type i'm going to select the linear this i'm going to select a black color and here i'm going to select the color of or maybe color white maybe and then change the direction i want the black to come on top white i'm going to make it fully transparent and this black you can give some more transparent effect and right mouse click edit points and just bring this point here and this point here you can see here how much difference is looking with the shadow effect now i'm going to select all you can use the mouse highlight all hold the key left key and release it so that it gets uh, selected all or you can press Control A also to select the object or if you want to do one by one then you need to shift the uh, to hold the shift key and click one by one so it will be a, a time consuming task so generally just drag your mouse over to the objects and release it so that all objects got selected and press Control G to group it Control D to duplicate it put the other option here and go to format rotate and I'm just going to rotate say flip horizontal and then select this both control D and add two more here so you can see here all the four objects has been created now it's time to ungroup this to ungroup you can select all the objects and press control shift G to ungroup so you can see here all has been ungrouped and this text you need to change the effect go to text options effects and presets from this to this so it becomes something like this you can see here and then this will be four this is three this will be two and then it's up to you to change the color of each one let me just show you one so i'm just going to give some darker color here so i'm going to select maybe a kind of a pink and then select the other stop go to more color options and select some lighter pink and the same thing goes here i'm just going to select this home format painter click on this one just you need to make sure that this is going the opposite direction 
and then this one also you can select and give a pink then go to more colors go to custom and increase the shade so you can see here so likewise we can just do for uh, the remaining add some different color of your choice so you can see here i have added some different colors to it and i'm just keeping this slide as it is i'm just going to select this particular slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide and this slide i can insert some more shapes so i'm just going to select a rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline and make sure that the size should not exceed this one and then select uh, some lighter color or i can just select this color and select this particular shape go to effects shadow and i'm going to select from the inner this one which is inside right and then just reduce the size as i said because it should not exceed that one and select this press ctrl d and go to effects shadow effect make it the other side and then increase it something like this so this is the another design you can do it and if you have the icons you can add the icon so let me just add one by one now Control d select this increase the size change the color using the eyedropper and then Control d reduce the size and then give the same color so you can see here it entirely gives a different uh, design now so just copy and paste Control d just put it here and again change the color with the eyedropper and copy the one for the other objects also so you can see here i've added all the colors and if you want you can add some icons go to insert select icons and select icons of your choice according to the requirement i'm just going to insert and i'm going to give the fill as white and then bring one and put it here So you can see here this is the slide number two and this is the slide number one so whichever you want or you like you can use it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye